Greetings Federation. Well, we have suffered our first loss of the year to the Oklahoma Sooners. I mean, we were in this game to the very end. That that much no one can argue that even though we did not win this game, we have more or less proved ourselves by being able to hang with Oklahoma for the entire game. So, even though we did lose this game, I am still confident going forward for we learned quite a few things during this game and heck, we, we can still win the um, Big 12 Championship because our job, it's going to be a two loss team winning it at this rate or maybe even one loss anyways before I um, continue on with my video over what I noticed during the game I would love to say congrats to Oklahoma y'all played a hell of a game man jump around and enjoy the win now there were some interesting things that occurred in this game it was not really a single unit fall that we lost this game. I mean, offense had some pretty bad plays, and then our defense couldn't really uh, tackle the at all. It seemed like Oklahoma had a hell of a time rushing the ball. I mean, we could not stop them for the life of us. They could just pound down our throats all day long, get six yards on average, and we just couldn't hold him back and that really killed us in the end I mean I st started noticing that problem against West Virginia when they were starting to gut us and it didn't get fixed over the M week now I don't know that either I tapped him out to Oklahoma State skill or that we just didn't practice enough I'm more or less going with the latter because I think we did practice a whole lot out of West Virginia but I think Oklahoma is just that great at running the ball and on offense on offense we had a bad time passing the ball it's not what he do to um, Oklahoma secondary too much but not being able to uh, catch the ball and lots of turnovers that really should not have happened or occurred. You can blame the weather on that, sure, but bad weather aside, you need to make those plays regardless. I mean, when the, it comes down to it, to clutch the game, you need to make those plays and we just cannot come down with the ball sometimes and we just made some really stupid mistakes that backed us up so far that even if we got 20 yards we still didn't get a first down I mean I can understand once or twice having a mess up with the ball but this was a normal occurrence it felt like that no matter what we try to do, it seemed like we can just like once every other possession we had, we gave the ball over or something stupid happened that pushed us back. It was just we I think it's safe to say we not play our best offensive game today, but we still managed to go quite a pretty number of points against a excellent secondary like uh, Oklahoma's so it was just a very messy game all around and another big fault for offense I mean this is not a new thing I mean it has been with us the entire season we can't run the ball at all I mean Oklahoma has a few down linebackers up front and we can only 
got them for a few plays when we were driving down the field, getting that uh, touchdown after we got the um, onside kick, I believe. So, it's just not been a great year for us in our run. I mean, it's been pretty pathetic and pedantic. We we can't get things started on the ground at all. And that forces us to throw through the air more and make more mistakes from either tip passes that we did that turned out to be interceptions or throwing unthrown balls that turned out to be interceptions and just no good ball placement. Oh hell, you had the ball slip out of your hands. I mean, <sighs> it's it, it just is what it is right now on offense. I mean, I am maybe signing down, but still remember, we did keep this game pretty close on offense. We just won as great as we should have to win the game. So, take my negativity as you wish. But one thing that did look proof in this game that I would take as a um, bite spot is our special teams. Our special teams, for the most part, played a much better game than they have in previous weeks. They actually stopped making some pretty dumb mistakes and had a few good running backs and blocks. I mean, so they got a big one to kick off, I think once or twice. But, heck, that's going to happen every now and again. So, I do wonder what's going to happen to this team next week against Oklahoma State. For This is our first loss of the season, and it had me curious, how exactly is uh, Kingsbury going to handle this loss? And how are we going to spawn next week? But, that's for another video. So... Hmm, until next time, my donation, guns up, rate up power, and wreck him tech. Ugh.